Welcome back. So last week we went into detail about how we are making the sun frames in Arabella. This week we'd like to go into a little bit more of that work and also show how we're making the bronze floors for these frames. But before we do that, we'd like to roll out something that we've been really excited about. A lot of people have been asking us to uh, sell something on our store that um, is made out of the wood from the boat and the wood from Victoria. So we're happy to say that we had these beautiful pens made uh, and they'll be live today. You can find that link in the description below and uh, thank you for supporting us. Enjoy the video. We're working on the fit of this forward frame here, and we ended up with this about a, almost a half inch gap here that we got to close up. And when we took the measurements for all of this, we've cut everything a little shy of where it needed to be, and we're just kind of slowly sneaking up on it. We are absolutely not experienced at making sawn frames and pulling the patterns off the boat. We know how to do it, but we haven't done it before, you know, until now. So instead of trying to cut to the line and everything and get it perfect the first time, we've kind of been going under the assumption that we're gonna get something a little bit off and to leave some wiggle room so that we can cinch everything down. Um, so we're at that point of kind of cinching everything down and tightening it up. And we have some decisions to make because we need to put limber holes in here. And our two options are to put one in the center or we can cut off these kind of wings on the side of the stem and leave the drainage on either side of the stem. Now they both have their pros and their cons. One nice thing about nipping the wings off of the side is that when the, we put the bronze floor in, it'll be a little bit simpler. There's no limber hole to cut in that. And the other thing is, is we're gonna end up with kind of a, a valley between the center line and the planking down the majority of the boat. Uh, so we're gonna have to fill that with a compound down the road. And if we take the nibs off on these forward three frames on the stem and we do the same thing in the stern, we're not gonna to have to use that compound on the stem and stern, which will be really nice. So I think that's the avenue we're gonna go, is we're just gonna nip these off, and we put them on knowing that we might cut them off later, but they would be easier to cut off later if we decided that was the way we wanted to go with the limber holes than to try to add them. Uh, so we'll cut these off, and that'll also make closing up this gap a lot easier. And then once we get that gap closed up, the angle tweaked a little bit more, we'll make the bronze floor for it. And then we can do the final shaping and fairing on the outside with the battens. Cause right now it's a little proud of where it needs to be, but it really shouldn't take us too much longer. And this forward one should be just about fit. Everything was looking good with the frames. Just one last pass on the bottom with the planer would make these perfect. We're pretty happy with how the fit on these frames is now. So the next step for us is gonna to be to start working on the bronze floors. So it's just going to be a really simple uh, three inch strip here where we're going to put a couple hanger bolts in and then a vertical plate and we'll put a few bronze bolts up higher where we can get into it and down here where we can't really get to the back we'll probably put in a few screws. Uh, but we'll get those bronze floors made, we can pick up the angle for it right now and then once we get the bronze floors bolted in it'll give us a really nice surface to clamp these to to reference them off of. We can do any last little bit tweaking to the bottom and now we can get them bolted in. Once they're bolted in, we can put a cross ball across the top, brace them against each other, and then we can just start working on fairing out the outside and doing the final smoothing. So we can just bend these ribbons in, and we can use the power plane, the ads, the spoke shave, whatever, and just adjust that bevel, adjust that shape until everything's really nice and tight. And then once we get these forward two frames all set and attached really well and the ribbons nicely flowing around them, we can pop out this mold and we're actually gonna use that mold as a template for another sawn frame. And then we'll be done up here in the stem and can jump into the stern. So let's go grab some bronze and get to cutting and fabricating a couple more floors.
So those frames are currently a little bit oversized. We need to do some trimming on them. And we don't want the bronze to go all the way to the very edge. So we are just gonna draw in just a little bit shorter of these. We used the bevel gauges and we pulled the bevels off of the bronze floors, clamped to the stem and to the frames. And then I took the square here and just drew a little rectangle here so that when we line these up, we can make sure that they're square to each other. And then we took the bronze pieces here, so the base plate and the vertical plate, and we just drew a line at the center. You're gonna get the base plate set on here and get this clamped down really well and then we're going to put a block behind it clamp that down really well and then we can set this plate in and that'll hold it at the correct angle uh, and then i can fire up the welder and tack weld it and have everything be the right angle and that way we don't have to drag the welder into the boathouse to do the tacks um, we can just pick up the angles off of these so i get that set up and we'll weld this puppy together This morning we wrapped up the uh, bronze floors here for the stem. These ones compared to doing the ones for the bent frames are infinitely easier. So we just have the one angle here that goes along the uh, stem and then just some flat plates that go up and get connected to the frames. This morning I decided to add on uh, these little wings to it and the reason is that the stem is quite an angle and then the frames go up so there's not really much room in there uh, for us to put fasteners in so by adding these wings up the frames a little bit we can get some bolts higher and get a better connection point so the next thing is to pop these into the boat and kind of see exactly where everything sits and we can mark for some fasteners and then get these established into the boat and then we can do the final fairing and bring them down to their final size and shape yeah. Yep. Dominique from Belgium was in the boathouse to help this week, and Steve got him set up on the press to open up the holes for the fasteners. Beautiful ring to it, huh? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Next up is going to be the Dolphinite. And then the little, little yellow spatula. Don't you need to stir it? No, not really. Um, and then we can get a little bit of that wax onto uh, two of those hanger bolts. I have found through trial and error, it is better to get one like halfway down. And then the other. The other like halfway down, and then finish them both off, yeah. I think I'm gonna go grab a chisel. Maybe the little rabbit plane and just knock that edge off before we put that floor in. I think it's going to be a lot easier to do now than later. Good enough. No more dam. Sometimes I wonder what would happen if someone who didn't lead a life like I lead tried to peel off tiny bronze burrs with their fingertips. Uh, do you scream a little bit? Scream a little bit. <laughs> we got the forward two mil sawn frames in with their bronze floors. And now we are going to pull some measurements off this mold, pop the mold out, and use that as the pattern for the last set of sawn frames for the stem. We're doing all three, but we did the first two in the stem first and skipped the mold for now because the mold is defining the shape of the boat currently. And if we were to take the mold out and not have any frames up here, we would risk losing some of that shape. So by leaving the mold in, putting in the sawn frames ahead of it and having those fared in a bit so that the ribbons hit them and hold the shape, we can take this out without drastically altering the ribbons, keeping similar measurements use that for the patterns, and we should be able to keep everything the same shape. Um, so if we were to take this all out at once, we would definitely destabilize these ribbons in the bow a little bit, and we could lose some of that shape that these molds are defining. So yeah, we'll pick that up, make one more sawn frame. It'll be the same uh, process as for the first two, except using this mold as the pattern, and it's a little bit bigger than the others, but other than that, it'll be the same thing. We'll get that in, and then we'll be totally done framing in the stem. So just like with the patterns we made for the first two frames in last week's video, it's just a matter of marking where the ribbon is and then marking the bevel by transferring it right onto the mold. Frame 3 8 amazing. Same on both sides.
We got the forward frames uh, all installed. So now Arabella is totally framed from almost the stern all the way up to the stem with a few exceptions. So there's still the molds in the boat. And when the molds come out after planking, we'll have to do a last few frames then. Um, but for now, everything is wrapped up. So we got these stem frames in, we got their bronze floors in. The last thing they need is just a little bit of fairing and we got to cut the rabbit. But I think we're going to do that one jump ahead of the planking. Uh, so we'll start putting the cedar planks on and we'll see exactly how everything wants to land. And we'll, uh, we'll prep the rabbit and the frames three or four planks ahead of where the planks are going onto the boat. And that way we can make sure that we get everything right as we put it on. Because right now we'd be springing battens and roughing it in. And I think with how much things change and how quick and sharp the angles are up here, it's going to be a safer bet for us, especially since we've never done this before. Uh, to do it as the planks go onto the boat. So the next step is to jump into the stern and make three sawn frames back there. We'll have to drill the prop shaft and uh, then we can jump back into planking. Fun, I guess. Oh. It looks bigger on TV. That's what folks say. Some people tell us it looks smaller. It does look bigger on TV. 